Hello beautiful souls. Thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk about how you could heal anything. And I've got some powerful tools that I'd like to share and I also, um, these are also tools that we use in the Healing Sound Arts system. And in case you don't know me, my name is Kaylee. I'm the creator of the Healing Sound Arts system, which is part of the Resonant Alchemy program, where I help people become sound healers. And really, healing is the key word. Um, I don't just teach this academically, but I truly embody um, the healing sound arts and I'm a tonal alchemist and I teach my students to become the tonal alchemists that they already are. So today I want to talk about how you can heal anything and I'm going to offer you some tips and these are some things that we teach in the program so if you're interested in the program please um, check out the link below. So the first thing I want to mention is um, we can heal anything by utilizing the creational energy that is us. So we are made of love and light. And we have this thing called the heart. And so the heart is like a powerful electromagnetic field, right? So, and our intention is very powerful. Yes, you are all powerful, my friends. You are powerful beings and you don't even know this. Uh, most of us don't realize. But um, we have this thing called love. And when we tune in to love, and we tune in and we amplify it with sound, and we expand the heart and the love is coming from the heart, that is a powerful, powerful tool. So whether you want to heal something that is physical, spiritual, emotional, it doesn't really matter. What you can do each day is sit, expand the heart, and then tune into love that you already are, it's always there. And then just simply use your voice, or you can use a crystal singing bowl, but you can simply sit and sound with the vibration and the frequency of love and amplify it um, toward whatever you are becoming. You don't wanna focus on, like for instance, if you have a tumor, you don't wanna focus on the tumor. You wanna focus on what you are becoming, your perfect balanced state of being. And you want to focus on the frequencies of that and you tone it every day with this full heart of love and the sound is amplifying and you're expressing it and you're sending it to the universe and the thing is is if you're using your um, voice which is the most powerful sound healing tool you have this is like the birth canal so as you're expressing this you are creating form you're you're putting it into the universe which is your highest and deepest self, by the way. You're putting it into the universe and you're creating it. Okay, so that would be the first thing I would say, these higher states of being. You can use love, you can also use gratitude. That's an amazing, you know, um, state of being as well. And you can use praise. So the second way is um, through asking the universe for information. So if you do sound, you are constantly going into the states of um, deep transcendence, which means you're going beyond time and space, okay? And you are, um, and if you just like drop a question there in that deep space before a meditation or afterward, or uh, you might think of it right in the deep, deep state, you just Put, like it's like a pebble that goes right into the pond and it just ripples out and then it, it's almost like a boomerang you'll get an answer the answer will show up in symbols in your environment or they'll show up as like a voice you might hear it's almost some, like something's talking to you and that's you talking to you by the way uh, some people will call this their guides or their angels or whatever but it's really you it is really you so just pay attention to the environment and pay attention to any uh, messages that you get. I remember um, doing this at one time and I do this a lot. And there was something going on with my health. I was seeing something in a blood test and I was like, hmm, what is it? What, what, what do I need to do? And what I heard, what the voice told me to do was to buy some okra and start cooking some okra. And, um, and then also I was led to... Um, 
saffron and and I saw Elmin the seer and um, she sells a, a flower of saffron oil which was just divine and so I utilized those two things and and something else and before long my condition had totally shifted and I use sound all the time too so um, so ask for information okay the third thing is expression anytime there's something going on with us um, you know on any level and we're wondering oh gosh I can't believe this is really happening to me well on on highest level you did create this okay and it is a, it is something it can be a sign from the universe and what you want to do is um, look at your life and see if there's any areas of your life where you're not fully being present you know maybe you push something aside it's on the back burner um, you're not fully expressing yourself you know maybe there are things that you haven't said to people um, particular people in your life another thing um, with expression is that even if you don't know the answer to that you can tone it you can sing it you can dance it you can paint it and these are all forms of like right brain methods of like expressing and creating and non-cognitive information can come through and um, just express as much as you can if you feel inspired to go to that dance class and work on yourself and be in the movement another thing that happens is when you're deep um, when you're singing or when you're toning or playing crystal singing bowl and you're expressing you can go into these really deep states and um, oftentimes if you don't have to practice a particular uh, method or remember the words to a song you go into transcendence and you just totally go um, beyond space and time and it is like you know the best place to be because um, you release a lot of stress and you um, gain information and it's just a beautiful place to be if you can go to that place every day that would be ideal so expression so we have sounding it with love asking for information expression and sound working with sound healing helps with all of these things because as you're working with the sound you're opening up these areas of yourself that haven't been opened for a very long time you're activating these areas um, sound helps us with um, transcending it helps us become very clear it helps us release all this uh, emotional baggage that we may have been hanging on to forever uh, it helps us get out of like depression anxiety um, and so in my program we we go over a lot of techniques and um, different sounds and when to use different instruments and uh, how to use the voice and healing ourselves and others and so if you're interested in that check out the link but um, I guess that's all I have to share today and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow bye bye